Jennifer Hudson and David Odungi have split after 10 years, and with the breakup come some shocking accusations. On Thursday, the day the breakup was made public, the Oscar and Grammy winner obtained protective order against her ex-fiancé, father of their eight-year-old son, David Daniel Odunga Jr. Here's what we know about the split Hudson accuses Odunga of threatening behavior Hudson said in her order petition that Odunga showcased increasingly aggressive, threatening and harassing behavior toward her and their son as their relationship broke down and accused him of mental and physical abuse. Odunga's attorney has said his client has never abused or harassed Ms. Hudson or their son. He said the WWE star has been trying to negotiate the terms of an amicable parenting agreement with Hudson for several weeks and said the actress and singer was trying to gain an unfair advantage in the custody dispute by filing her order. He said Odunga looks forward to his day in court and in being awarded the residential care of the party's only child. In a statement to TMZ, Odunga's lawyer said that Odunga denies each and every allegation Hudson has made against him and that, at no time did Mr. Odunga physically push Ms. Hudson as she has alleged. Kevin Mizergetti images for Yeezy Season 3 Hudson claims that Odunga accused her of cheating Hudson said in her protective order request that on Wednesday, a day before she obtained it, Odunga allegedly instructed their son to a recording studio where she worked with his iPad and sent the footage to him because he believes she is dating one of her producers. Hudson also stated that Odunga allegedly told the boy, don't let your mom's boyfriend motherfucking touch you. Hudson said she called security to the studio and that her husband ultimately confronted her at their home, where he allegedly grabbed their son by the arm and took him upstairs to the master bedroom, then pushed her with one hand out of the room while holding the boy's other hand. Police are investigating claims of violence A police spokesperson told E! News in response to the order that they are investigating a domestic battery incident, if Odunga is charged, it would be a misdemeanor. Odunga's lawyer said his client denies each and every allegation contained in Hudson's protective order petition, adding, that he has always been their son's primary caregiver. He added that on Wednesday, Hudson thought it was appropriate to have their son at a recording studio until 12.30 a.m. on a school night and that Odunga's only concern that evening was putting the child to bed so that he could be well rested for school. Prop Gun Hudson also said that Odunga allegedly left a firearm, which she said he claimed is a prop, out on their kitchen table to taunt her, as a gunman had killed her mother and brother in 2008. Odunga's lawyer said his client does not own a firearm and that the firearm in question was a prop that he used for an audition, just as he told her it was at the time she saw it in their house. Separate rooms Hudson says that her and Odunga's 10-year relationship began to deteriorate this past April and that they have been sleeping in separate rooms for at least six months. Split follows long engagement Hudson and Odunga had been engaged for about 10 years before they separated. She was often asked about their wedding plans in interviews. She has said she does not believe in divorce and wanted to be completely sure about her relationship before tying the knot. Next court date Hudson and Odunga were due in court on December 7th.